My name is Jeff Morgan. I am from Dallas, Texas. When we're thinking about coronavirus, the question that I've had the entire time is, is the cure for the coronavirus actually more destructive than the virus itself? So I got this data from NBC DFW News. You can find this online. In the state of Texas, there are 254 separate counties. And on the data that I got from NBC DFW News, um, it shows that 239 counties in the state of Texas have fewer than 10 deaths associated with the COVID-19 virus. That's less than 10 deaths in the entire county, 239 out of 254 counties. But if you break that, that down even further, you find out that there are 174 counties, 174 counties with no deaths at all. And that represents about 3.9 million people. There are 34 counties that had one death. And that represents an additional 1.95 million people. And then there were 24 counties that had two deaths. If you look at the state of Texas right now, as far as the total number of cases that are concerned, uh, as of the data that was uh, current as of April the 25th, I believe, again, from NBC DFW News, it sh indicated that out of a population of 30 million, 514,978, we had 22,806 cases. 22,806 cases out of a population of almost 30, of over 30.5 million people. So if you look and start to break down these figures, what it indicates is this. People that have been affected somewhat with the COVID-19 virus, uh, that's about seven and a half people per 10,000 people. And we have to maybe, if we extrapolate that out, that comes down to 37 people for every 50,000 people. If you take a look at the deaths that are associated with the COVID-19 crisis in the state of Texas, um, it's 0.2 people per every 10,000. In other words, one death for every 50,000 people in the state of Texas. One death for every 50,000 people in the state of Texas. Now, I'd like to look at a little bit further what's going on here as well, because if you look at the unemployment data for the state of Texas, and this is not talking about all unemployed, but the newly unemployed. The newly unemployed are at least 1.3 million people, and actually it's probably higher than that because not everyone has yet to file claims and some people are not able to file claims, like certain business owners. So if you take a look at that data, for every 10,000 people we have created 426 at least possibly more possibly much more at least 426 newly unemployed people for 10,000 people and we have created at least once again at least 2,130 newly unemployed people for every 50,000 people one thing to remember is that many of these people that are unemployed have been forcefully unemployed by government mandate. Why is that? Because they work in quote non-essential jobs. Now how arrogant is that for a government official, for a politician, for a so-called leader to declare that your job is non-essential? If your job is the means by which you are providing food on the, your table for your family or you are providing for your loved ones, your job is absolutely essential. This idea about a non-essential job is a bunch of nonsense, it's garbage, and it's extreme arrogance. To bring it more locally to where I live in the county of Dallas, Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins, I believe has even been more heavy handed than most. I don't know if you recall, but in March he pontificated in front of the cameras that if we did not take the measures, the extreme measures that he was mandating, ordering, uh, that Texas would have at least 430,000 deaths associated with the COVID-19 virus. There are not even half as many deaths worldwide to this point. Once again, we have barely over 600 deaths. 600 deaths compared to the projected 430,000 deaths uh, projected by Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins. Turning back to the unemployment numbers, again, there are at least 1.3 million 
newly unemployed people, but those numbers don't even tell the rest of the story. And the reason for that is very simple. Many of the unemployed people provide for their family members, provide for their children, provide for their husband or wife, provide for parents, sometimes may help to support a relative. So the unemployed, the newly unemployed that are suffering under these government imposed, state imposed, forced unemployment mandates far outweighs the damage that is being created by the COVID-19 virus itself. In other words, the cure is far worse, far more destructive, far more devastating than the virus itself. Life is always a series of trade-offs. My question is this, is it worth, is it worth destroying the Texas economy? Is it worth destroying the lives and futures of millions of people due to the coronavirus in the state of Texas. In addition, I think we need to take a look at our leadership. So for example, as I mentioned, Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins in March got in front of a news broadcast on TV, it was televised, and he pontificated that unless we immediately took his measures, that Texas would have over 430,000 deaths. Now, Clay Jenkins may now get on in front of the TV and claim that because we have implemented his measures that we have stopped 430,000 deaths. However, there have not even been half as many of those deaths worldwide. So what Clay Jenkins was doing, even though he was invoking science, he was not actually citing true science. He was invoking pseudoscience. He was invoking projections that may or may not take place. He was using a model that was faulty and he was using data that was completely unreliable as many people have commented to that effect. He should be held accountable for the devastation that he has created within the Dallas Metroplex. The forced unemployment that he has created. He should be held accountable for the orders that he's issued against businesses that are very essential businesses if you are using your business to provide for your family and your loved ones. It is an essential business to you. He should be held accountable for his arrogance and calling your job non-essential. Now I've thought about this a little bit and I was thinking back to the Roman Empire. Uh, in the Roman Empire, degrees of exile were introduced, including temporary and permanent exile. Uh, some exile took place with a lot of citizenship and some exile took place without the loss of citizenship. You could face exile with or without the confiscation of your personal property. Now the Romans generally determined punishment by class and they applied sentences of banishment to the upper classes and sentences of forced labor to the lower classes. So um, in a situation where you have an official like Clay Jenkins, assuming that he is among the higher class, and I'm not sure whether he is or isn't, I don't know anything about his personal finances, but a sentence that something like the Roman Empire might pass upon him would be a banishment. Uh, because of what he has done. According to Polybius, a famous Roman historian who documented the Roman Empire, exile was a voluntary act through which a citizen could avoid legal penalty by quitting the community. How does that apply to Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins? I believe at the very least, Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins owes the citizens of Dallas an apology. I believe he owes them an apology due to his arrogance, declaring certain businesses as essential and other businesses as non-essential. I believe he owes them an apology for destroying the financial lives of many people, not just their present lives, but also future down the road. Backed up by the irresponsible statements and projections that he made, he decreed unconstitutional orders, he created panic, and somebody like him, if he were living in the Roman Empire, might very well be eligible for exile and banishment. It might be an appropriate punishment to somebody who did this. If he were malinformed and, and this was issued in ignorance, at the very least, he should now be deemed as incompetent as a leader for Dallas County. At the bare minimum, I believe Clay Jenkins should be exiled from his office and perhaps from ever holding office again. And I also believe that the citizens of Dallas should demand his resignation. Thank you.